Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Commodore 64 games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see me playing some Shaft Raider. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Play Store. And once you're on your Play Store, we're going to be searching for Frodo C64. Frodo 64 is going to be our free Commodore 64 emulator for Android. What you want to do is get this installed. And while we're on our Play Store, we're also going to be searching for and installing one more application. We're going to be searching for and installing Z Archiver. Z Archiver we're going to be using a little bit later on for games. And it's a really good managing app that I'd recommend for having on your Android device regardless. It works similar to 7-Zip or WinRAR for PC but it does it all on the go for free on your phone. So the first thing you need to do is get both of these installed. So once you have this done, we're going to be opening up Frodo 64 for the first time. And this is what the emulator looks like. It doesn't really have a UI, but I'm going to be explaining how to use everything right now. So the first thing you're going to notice is we have a keyboard down here in the bottom. And then on top, we have our actual emulator window. So you may be wondering to yourself how we actually use this emulator. So all we need to do on our Android device is click the three boxes on our actual phone. Now, since I have capacitive buttons and not on-screen buttons, I can't show you this. But you want to click your three buttons on the bottom left of your window. Then you'll get this little option, below disk, reset quit load state and more if we load up the more option we're going to get a couple more settings in here that we should come into first we can set up some joystick mode we can change joystick port and we can just look at the general settings and you want to pretty much mimic everything i have right here of course you can customize it if you want it's pretty basic once you get in here but finding that initial menu option can be a bit tricky if you've never used this emulator before once you're here you can map settings to use a bluetooth controller if you wish but once we're here the first thing we're going to be looking at really is the virtual joystick layout so here here you can select how you want to lay out your controller if you want to lay it top and bottom bottom and top are a mixture or you can set up the virtual joystick size to change and actually show your virtual joystick all you want to do is hit the back button on your android device and it will switch from your keyboard to your joystick and if you want to change back and forth simply click back button again so the back button will send you back and forth between the keyboard and the joystick this is important to remember in case you want to use your keyboard or joystick later on so once you're happy with all your settings we're ready to look at your games what you want to do is back out of Frodo c64 and we're going to be loading up c archiver what you want to do from here is locate to where your games are as you can see i currently have two games downloaded i have scooby-doo and shaft rider right here now they both come in dot zips and that's where z archiver comes in we're going to be using z archiver to extract our games from these zips i'm not going to be showing you today's video or to download games but games are really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out but once you have your games downloaded you want to locate to them with z archiver then all you want to do is click on your game click extract here or extract dot 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 if you want to select a different location to extract to and your game will be extracted and i should mention your games for this emulator either need to be in a .prg file or a .d64 file if they're not in these formats the games will not work in this emulator and you'll need to look for a different version of the game just make sure whatever game you're looking for is in one of these formats once this is done you want to load back up your emulator we're going to be clicking our tree box on the bottom left again we're going to be clicking load disk you want to locate to wherever your games are as you can see i have my game right here click on the prg file click start disk and then my game will start to load and it is that easy to play commodore 64 games on your android device if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to leave a link down below to my paypal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me of course there's no pressure if you can't if you want to suggest any tutorials i should make let me know in the comments down below anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy Peace.